Greetings, I'm Mr. K. And I'm Mrs. K. We're a couple hailing from the city of New York that loves to travel and explore. We would like to invite you to join us as we experience new and exciting things in life. We're doing some shopping today here at Brickell City Center. Let's go. So today we're taking it a little bit easier. It's our last full day here in Miami. And, and for all our trips, we usually dedicate one day just to take it easy and just do a little shopping. So here you get a bunch of different like luxury brands. I think it's mostly luxury brands. You do get some real nice spots to take photos. Got to Green Street Cafe. It's a restaurant that came up. It was highly rated, and it was just by our uh, Airbnb, so we figured we'd check it out. It's nice because they have outdoor seating and indoor seating. We just got seated at Joe's Stone Crab. This place is massive, dog. So the order came real fast. So we got an order of the cream spinach, just because everything that we've been eating here so far has been pretty much fried and just greasy. It's a little small portion, but I think it helps. And then we also got an order of the conch fritters. They look pretty big, so I'm gonna try the conch fritters. So the conch fritters are really good. They're fried perfectly outside, soft on the inside. You can really taste each conch. We got an order of the stone crabs. They didn't have the jumbo, we got the large, and they seem pretty big. So let me try this stone crab. Wow! This, the shell is like ceramic. Wow, it's so... Yeah, it's literally like a stone. Oh wow. This crab is super tender. This is really good. It tastes extremely fresh. The mustard adds a nice little kind of tang to it. I'm gonna try to get every little piece that I can get. Definitely some of the best crabs I've ever had. Joe's Stone Crab is probably the most famous seafood restaurant. I'm definitely known for their stone crab. It's seasonal, so it makes it very expensive. And it's native to South Florida. What's interesting about the stone crab is that it's sustainable. So we only eat the claws. We don't eat the body or anything of the shell, just the claws. And what's nice is that it's the claws, they grow back. So it's super sustainable. So we just got an order of the key lamb pie. They're actually famous for it. This is the first bite. It smells very sweet. Oh wow, it's very cold, but it's really good. This is our first key lamb pie in Miami. And it's a great start. Yeah, it, 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 it kind of tastes like a sorbet. Like that's kind of the texture. And the crust is like a graham cracker crust. Sweet, crumbly. You get that tart taste from the, the lime. It's really good. Highly recommend it. So we got reservations, and that's really what's uh, recommended. I think this is like the Peter Lugers of seafood. 
We were actually worried about the dress code. Uh, the line on the website says that the dress code was kind of formal. I mean, no athletic wear, no beach wear, or anything like that. No sandals. Yeah, so we were a little nervous just because I didn't prepare for this kind of anything like that. But I mean, I'm wearing sneakers, I'm wearing long pants, and just a t shirt, and I'm able to, to get in. To give a little insight about us, we love photography. Uh, any street photography, night photography, uh, portraits, and stuff like that. We're not really professionals, we're just amateurs. We just like to take photos. Anyway, whenever we go travel, we love to try to find a great spot for uh, night photography. We're currently in South Beach, Espinola Way, to be specific. And it's it's alive. It's quite literally day and night. When we came during the day, a, couple, a few days ago, it was dead. It was still very pretty. Restaurants are packed with people outside. Loud music. Well, this concludes our Miami series. We had so much fun, the weather was so nice, and the food was delicious. We definitely will come back in the future. Well, we hope that you guys enjoyed watching this series as much as we enjoyed filming it. Now let us know in the comments below what you think of Miami. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit that bell notification. We release videos every Thursday. See you next week. Bye!